Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. For your likes, comments, subscribes and donations, it really means a lot and welcome if you're new. So for this reading I'm going to focus on you and your person's energy. This is for those of you in separation from your person. You feel a very strong connection with them so they could be somewhere or to inflame, whatever resonates for you. Feel free to flip the energies, they can come out reversed at times. And although this is dated August 2022, um, my readings are timeless so it could resonate whenever you come across it. So we'll start with a spirit animal message, not only for the message but also you might see some of these animals after this reading, and that could be a sign. So we've got White Raven Spirit, it says trust in the magic. Yeah, things are happening behind the scenes. You've got 66 there, showing harmony and love, mirroring maybe between you and your person. Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. So maybe you're transitioning, maybe your person is in a certain situation in your life. Um, this can also show you spiritually ascending as well, sort of moving more into a 5D energy. Uh, we've also got Badger, the bottom of the deck, be fearless and bold. So that's a message for some of you, um, in terms of this transition maybe, being bold in terms of going for it. Maybe some of you have been stuck in a rut for a while. Okay, so let's tune in on your energy then. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So first of all, I'm seeing four, and we had four there. So this is something around your stability, your home potentially, where you need to be fearless and bold. Um, some of you could be in a relationship here. And maybe, you know, I've got to put this out there, maybe some of you are thinking about moving on and ending this situation. Maybe someone's not been honest with you. Because I'm seeing two people here looking in different directions, not really seeing eye to eye, not very compatible. This could be the past energy as well of this person you're holding on to, where they sneaked away. It was quite painful. Because here we're seeing you holding on to something and for some of you you need to let go of that energy if you're stuck in that energy that's what you manifest some of you though you know um doesn't have to be this it could be that you're just thinking about starting again this in between could be you definitely ending something a chapter in your life it could even be a job. Um, I do really feel it's something you're holding on to though, some emotions here. Let's clarify. Wow, now the Knight of Wands is all about being fearless, <laughs> which came out here. That's amazing. So this is what you're being guided to do. Yeah, to not be fearful of facing these emotions head on. 
because I feel it's making some of you feel a bit uh, ungrounded. That's even a word. <laughs> yeah, An anxious, not sleeping. There's something that's on your mind, it would seem. Taurus, you're feeling quite unhappy about this. Let's have a look at the Ten of Swords. Yeah, again it's coming out, something here you're holding on to, grief, loss from the past that needs to be put to rest. Quite a lot of sadness, I mean there could even be an ending, as I said that happens for some of you in the future, it's unexpected. Another five. Yeah, feeling this is definitely an ending of some sort. Uh, could be a loss of a job. And it's, it's quite a blow. Feeling lonely for some of you. You want to make a change there. But then the positive is judgment. So this helps a lot of you to awaken in this transition. You know, raise your vibration, make this decision. Okay, let's see your person's energy then. Quite a lot of major arcana for your person here. So, spiritual lessons, I feel. Um, some karma, potentially, that they're experiencing. Your person is quite unfulfilled. No matter what's going on, what I'm seeing here is, externally, they're acting as though they're fine, they're being quite strong. Um, really just focusing on their work. You might know them through work, but deep down they feel like that. There's something missing. Good news is they are going within at the moment. It could be a Virgo, Libra, Aries, Leo, Gemini. Um, we've also got the first card of the Major Arcana and then the second. So it seems they, they want to break free from something here, from a pattern, and start over. They've been through all, all the lessons they could go through on their journey. And they want to start again, start, maybe start their own business or really work on themselves, I'm seeing with these three cards. Work on improving themselves. Let's see about justice here. Could be a divorce for some of them. Wow, okay, repeat card there, five of cups that you got. So a loss of some sort there. Um, so as I say, it could be, you know, a divorce, breakup. Someone leaves their life. This really makes them start to go within. They might be single for a while. Yeah, again, something legal here, coming out. Mm. 
Wow, Seven of Swords that you got there. So this could very well be, you know, this ending is with this person. For some of you, they sneak away and actually then regret it. Um, this could be past energy coming through. Five of Pentacles that you got. Yeah, there's some mirroring here. So it could also be you're just both going through something similar here, which is quite common for your twin flames. Uh, okay, let's see about the Fool. So then some fear, um, very much up and down energy in your person in terms of what to do. I feel here. Um, I really feel they've not been honest with themselves. Yeah, there could have been someone else in the picture. But I'm also feeling your person steps up. goes towards their ten of cups that's sort of what they desire there um, but yeah this could have been a relationship though they're telling me and they need to heal that's coming out here yeah they need to heal from this situation things will happen in divine timing again there's healing there lots of Sagittarius Aquarius so it seems at the moment you're both going through this transition, this change, and not much action is happening between you both at the moment. So hang in there, Taurus. Um, let's take a few letters as well. We might get some initials or a word. So we've got X, K, E... V, R, Y, U, P, R, Z, G, C, W, K, and N for Noble. So I'm saying Ken, Kev, Key. So they will find clarity, essentially, with a key. Um, so will you with that judgment card you're going to find a way forward that's interesting I'm seeing wreck w-r-e-c-k so they might feel like a wreck you know for a while I need to heal um, same for you, whatever this is, you know, that you're going through, you might feel that way, but it won't last forever. Um, seeing Becky, this could also be an accident, they're just showing me here, this legal thing for your person. Don't want to worry you, but this. Something like that anyway, with wreck, you know, it could be the car. Grey, yeah. Definitely a, a sort of bleak energy um, coming through for some of you. Uh, peck. Could be someone's surname, as could Grey. Okay, I'll leave it there, Taurus. So I hope you've got something from this reading. Won't resonate for all of you, obviously. Um, thank you for being here. Sending lots of love to you all.